Hello and welcome to Sprucam Tutorials brought to you by Tormach. In this tutorial I'm going to be going over uh, water line roughing and finishing. As you can see I, I have already imported my solid part and got it in a good position for machining. Now um, we have to do a couple things before we start the machining. We have to define a workpiece. So I'm going to go to the machining tab and you can see it generates a box around it but I would rather have it look like it's already finished and we're just going to concentrate on the center portion of this part so in order to do that we're going to have to extrude so we'll go to our model tab and we want to make sure that our um, line selection tool is on and we're going to select this bottom contour of this part all the way around it should be three contours and we're going to join those. So we'll go over to Join Curves. And in Join Curves, we have to put a tolerance. 10,000 should be fine. And it's going to be called Join Curve 1. Okay. So now when we select Join Curve 1, the whole curve shows up. Now we'll go to our machining tab. Make sure that the machine is highlighted and we'll go to the workpiece selection and go to extrude. Now we want to extrude a curve and we're going to use join curve one that pops up there. Add that. Okay now you can see it, it makes a goofy uh, stock box on top because it started and went up. We're going to double click on the extruded curve and we're going to put the minimum the maximum level at zero and the minimum level at negative 1.7 click OK now the part is w the way we want it so now what we're going to do is choose waterline as a machining process so we'll go to create roughing waterline now we're going to select the faces that we want to waterline finish or waterline rough. So we'll hit the job assignment icon and we're going to pick faces. Now we're going to go around and pick some of these interior faces. That should be good enough. We'll click Add. Now you can see everything that's in green. It should should recognize. Now it's going to go into these little alcoves, but we'll uh, it'll do a better job once we decide to go ahead and finish it. So we can close that. Now we'll double click roughing waterline, and we're going to pick our tool. So we're going to go to library selection and choose the inch toolkit click apply and go to a half inch solid carbide end mill we'll make it two inches long feeds and speeds we're not going to really have to deal with because we're not actually machining anything we'll put it at a safe level of 0 0.05 and now we have the waterline parameters. Now one thing that catches a lot of people is waterline defaults with a relief angle of 3. I don't know why it does that but we take that relief angle off because we don't want it. Now normally when I'm doing waterline um, procedures I don't play with these these three selections safe plane top level bottom level although safe plane can be checked and turned to fifty thousandths. Now what safe plane is, is the plane in which the tool should be free to move to the next cutting area. 
So if it goes up 50 thousandths above the part, is it going to be free to move? Yeah, it should be free to move. All right. And now we're going to take these cuts in 50 thousandths cuts. So it's going to be 32 passes. Now with our strategy, we're not going to... We can uh, conventional... Oh Well, you know, let's go back to parameters. Sorry about that for a second. And let's add a little bit of radial and axial stock. So we're going to add 10 thou radial and 10 thou axial. Because we're roughing and we're going to give it a little bit more. Now we can go to strategy. Now normally in strategy, you, you won't have to worry about much other than you want to turn off for the most part trochoid step. Trochoid step is so that the tool constantly engages in the same amount of material as it machines and it doesn't work the greatest in uh, sprue cam. Uh, it's better if you have a real high speed machining um, mill and it, for the most part it doesn't apply to to Tormach mills. So let's uh, do not use trochoid step. Okay. Everything else can pretty much remain the same. We shouldn't have to deal with much of that we can go to trimming and we can go on hole capping and we can turn hole capping on all that means is that it's just going to go over the hole instead of trying to machine into the hole and we'll put it at 0.5 because that's the diameter of our tool well actually we could put it at 0.45 that way it won't try to get into um, a half inch hole and transition transformation we we shouldn't use we shouldn't need to use any of those things so we could click OK and now let's click run and generate the tool pass I'm gonna take a little bit of time here okay now we can go to our simulation tab and slow that down just a hair and click play All right, let's speed it up. Now you can see it's just going to pocket out everything that was in that area. It does see those little bit of uh, those little alcoves, I call them. And it does machine them a little bit, but not very much. So we can see that it's done a pretty decent job of starting up roughing the uh, that area. So now we're going to go and move on to finishing. So go back to our machine tab. We'll do a create finishing waterline. We're going to go back to our job assignment tab and pick faces, and we're going to pick the same faces that we picked last time while holding the control button, remember. That should be good. Now we're going to pick a bit of a smaller cutter. So we'll double click on finishing waterline. We'll pick our tool as, let's say, a, oh, uh, let's go with a quarter inch end mill. And we can make that two inches long as well. That's pretty long for a quarter inch end mill, but, you know, for these purposes, that's fine. Lead in, lead out. Let's we'll stick with the safe level. Of 50 thousandths. Our parameters, we're going to keep our safe plane the same. We don't want any actual radial or axial stock. And this time around, we are going to scallop everything at three thousandths. We'll make sure all the rest is that clear. Now, scallop is a, is a little different way of doing things. It's just goes around and moves the cutter and path three thousandths and cuts it around. It's the way you would want to smooth things if you're working on a tapered surface or a rounded surface like this. So we'll use scallop. We're going to climb mill everything because that's going to give us the nicest looking finish. And we shouldn't have to worry about anything else. 
We'll click OK and click Run. Now it's going to take a little while to generate this because the 3000 scale up takes a little while. As you can see down at the bottom uh, left hand corner of the screen, it's at 29%. It takes a little time. So, um, we just wait for it to generate. It's at about 75% now. Oh, and there it is. It's a lot of toolpaths. So let's see how it's going to look. Click play. Oh, see now like what a nice finish you get on that side. This is obviously moving very fast, but if we slow it down, you can see it go back and forth making a really nice pass because we're just climb milling it's only going to go in this direction so it takes even longer but you get a better result so we're going to speed it up again that's looking really good Here it goes over that dome surface that's in there. And it's going to take everything down to the bottom of that pocket. Beautiful. And that looks really good. So, we've gone over waterline roughing and waterline finishing. Uh, this has been Sprucam Tutorials brought to you by Tormach, and I hope you enjoyed it.